Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest videos. In this video, we are going to discuss about the payroll module in Logic ERP. As we all are aware of payroll is an integral part of any organization that takes care of the employee's salary calculation, leave calculation, generation of pay slips, attendance of employees and so on. So let's start the video and look at each and every aspect of payroll management in Logic ERP. Let's start with allowance and deduction setup. In payroll it's mandatory to define allowances and deductions to process the salaries. Define allowance or deduction name. Then choose the salary account to map it with. Choose whether it will be marked as allowance or deduction and choose the type as well. If HR department wants to post account entries of allowance or deductions, then mark it as yes in the post account entry column. Let's move on to grade setup. Payroll grades can be defined as the departments available in the organization. Simply give a grade name. You will find various options available to define grades. Define it accordingly and save the data. You can also set up expressions for allowance or deductions. Simply, define configuration name and press space key in expression value column. Then define formula in payroll script tool using available fields, along with some specified allowance and deductions. Let's move on to next option that is used to set up and link grades with allowances or deductions. You can either use grades to link with the allowance or deduction or configuration to link it with the global expression. Next, we will look at the option used to set up holidays in payroll. Select the financial year and branch for which you want to set up holidays. Now, there are two ways to do so. You can either set up holidays one by one or use the setup multiple holidays to create the holidays in one go. You may select the appropriate options to define holidays. You may also use the date range option. Once you save the data, click to refresh. You would see the holidays will be created automatically as per the date range defined.
Moving on, we will now look at the option to set up payroll time period. You first need to define the new financial year. Most of the companies process the payroll on a monthly basis, but payroll generation can also be implemented week-wise. Simply define the week name, week from N2. Once the weeks are defined, payroll will be generated and processed on a weekly basis. In similar fashion, you are required to define weeks for each and every month. Next on the list is to set up payroll shifts. You can easily manage your workforce by creating multiple shifts as per your organization needs and build customized shifts to monitor employees' break hours with ease. You just have to simply define the shift names, shift time in, shift time out and grace time. Grace time is basically used to calculate late coming of the employees. Now let's look at the option to create employee departments. Simply define the department name and department short name. Let's now look at the employee setup option. First of all, you need to enter all the basic information about the employee such as name, date of birth, address, phone number etc. You can enter correspondence address if any. You can enter necessary payroll information such as date of joining, basic pay, designation, employee type, department etc. You may enter employees' bank details as well. Don't forget to save the data. Coming on to Payroll Entry Module, let's look at the option to enter opening balances of leaves. This option allows to define the opening balance of the leaves that an employee can avail any time throughout the year. Let's now look at month-wise attendance register. This option is used to mark month-wise attendance of employees. Simply choose the month and select the employees from search. Click on refresh button to view the attendance register. Hit space key or double click to mark the attendance. You can choose appropriate option from list whether employee is present or absent. The first method which we have discussed is the manual way of marking attendance. But you can also import it through external file. This option allows you to import it directly from Excel file. 
Moving on to next option to define worker-wise loan. Most of the companies grant loan and advances to their employee to meet urgent requirements without taking any debt from bank, an employee can repay to the company back in installments later. HR department will update employee loan issue date, loan amount, number of installments, installments amount and loan installment start date. Loan installment amount will affect the net salary of the employee after the loan installment start date. Let's now move on to next option. Suppose an employee asks for advanced salary and can make payments to the company later. This can be managed using worker-wise payment or advance entry. Other deductions or additions can also be done by the HR department as per the requirement of the company. Simply choose the entry type and enter the amount. Hit the save button. A brief summarized statement will be generated. The balance will keep on updating as the entries are saved. Let's add another entry for same employee. Now let's have a look at payroll generation. Simply choose the month and also choose the employee for which you want to generate the payroll. This option is used to generate the payroll of employees which includes gross salary, net salary, total allowances, total deductions, paid leaves, loan installment advances, overtime, late coming, details of allowances and deductions. Logic ERP also provides pay slip editor tool used to design pay slip formats. You can create and customize play slip format as per requirements. Logic ERP Payroll also has a provision to send the pay slips to all the employees via mail. After payroll generation, it is important to post the entry in accounts. It can be accomplished using post payroll in account option. Choose the payroll month and click to refresh. Employees payroll information will be retrieved. The grid below displays the account entry summary. Click on Save button to post the entry in accounts. You can also check the posted entry in journal that keeps the record of all accounting entries. Let's now move on to payroll reports section. The first one is employee register that will provide you all the important information about your employees, such as name, address details, telephone number, job title etc.
Next in the row is employee loan ledger that would provide all the information you want regarding the employees who have taken loan from company and other details such as loan amount, installment date, and amount, balance, etc. Let's look at employee leave ledger that helps in recording, managing, and tracking employee leaves. Select the payroll year, month and create the report. It will display the total assigned leaves, leaves taken, and the leave balance of a respective employee. Then we have another important report that records the attendance summary of all the employees working in a company. It provides the details such as days worked, leaves taken etc. Let's now look at another report that is payroll summary report. It provides you the payroll information of a specific employee such as gross salary, incentives, allowances deductions etc. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.